I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. This is your prayer pastor, Bishop Sean Teal, and this is a pop-up precept. I won't hold you long, but I want to hold you long enough where you know you've been held. I want to bless and thank the Lord for the stellar partnership of all of the Prayer Everywhere partners. You are precious, Prayer Everywhere partners. Blessing and thanking the Lord for all that you continue to do. Uh, you serve every day. You support every day. You sow every day. You are helping us to do what God has called us to do, and that is to leave no place in the earth untouched by prayer or praying people. You are helping to make that happen, and we're blessing and praising the Lord for you. Special shout out and clap up to the members of the house. Thank you for helping us transform the Bay Area into the pray area. It is happening, and we're blessing and we're praising the Lord uh, that we are moving forward. Uh, the health and the growth of the church is being manifest. Uh, I had opportunity to meet with key and core leaders last night. Uh, we're all excited about the future of the ministry, excited about what we see in the growth of the house, excited about all of the privileges and the opportunities that the Lord is setting before us. And I pray, if you have not done so, experience the house, 949. 55th Street, Emeryville, California, every Sunday morning. We're there opening up at 9 a.m. for the School of Prayer. Now, I we'll, we'll want to remind you, the School of Prayer is not being live streamed. You have to be in person to experience that moment, and we want you to be in person with us, experience that moment, and then uh, we leave the School of Prayer. We go live streaming into our Word and Worship experience, and I believe uh, you need to experience it. It's simple, but it's supernatural. You won't leave the same way that you came. I believe experiencing the house is experiencing a little heaven on earth. And I invite you to experience what God is doing at the house. If you haven't done so, go to www.prayereverywhere.org. And if you have not become a partner, become a partner today. Uh, reach out. We want to uh, touch bases with you. We want to connect with you. We want to be a part of what God is doing in your life. And so I want you uh, to reach out to us and do that today. Don't wait. And if you need to, go to info, I-N-F-O, at it's the hope.org. And that is an email that will directly tie you to myself and to the leaders. And we will be more than happy to prepare spiritual resources for you, send them to you, and they will be free. Glory to God. They will be free. So if you haven't done so, uh, check out uh, prayeverywhere.org and let it bless you. And if you forget, and I tell people this all around the world, if you forget, just remember prayer everywhere. You can just Google prayer everywhere and we'll pop up. I assure you and all the information that you need uh, for this ministry, and for this movement will be available to you. All right. So again, this is your prayer pastor, uh, Bishop Sean Teal. I'm on for a pop-up precept. So let's get into this word. Go with me to John chapter seven. John chapter seven, John chapter seven. As you're coming on, if you would go ahead and share, it would be a blessing. Just push that button that says share. And I'm going to ask that you would do it now because uh, if you don't, you may not do it. And I read that it takes about three seconds to get that done. All right. Th about three seconds. I got about three seconds to motivate you to push that button. So push that button. There you go. All right. So thank you for supporting this ministry. Help this pop up precept go international. Help this moment go exponential. Help us go international. OK. Thank you so very much. John chapter seven. John chapter 7. I'm just going to read verse 38. John chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You see it? John chapter 7 and verse 38, if you can post that scripture, just post the reference. John chapter 7, verse 38. Somebody's going to come behind you trying to figure out what is he talking about today. John chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This is what the Lord sent me to say to you. 
The Lord says he is breaking captivity off of your creativity. That's all I got. The Lord says, I came on to tell you this today. Everything in me witnesses that this is the word of the Lord for you. Anybody else can go ahead and click off. You got to stay with me because this is the word for you. The Lord says that he is breaking the captivity off of your creativity. Now, what are you going to do with that? If you're a partner, your hands are already lifted. The Lord says he is breaking the captivity off of your creativity. You are a creative person, but you got to block. You're a writer, but you got to block. You're an entrepreneur, but you got to block. You're an artist, but you got to block. You're a minister, but you got to block. And you feel the block because it doesn't feel like you're in your flow. Everything right now feels halted. Everything right now feels disparate. Everything now feels a little disjointed. And you are not in your normal flow. Who am I talking to now? You know you're not in your normal flow. <laughs> How you roll, <laughs> you're not in your normal flow. How you conduct yourself, you're not in that flow. You have flown before. You know what it is to be in your best flow. You know what it is to wake up in the morning when your creative impulses and imaginations are meeting you and you're moving forward and you're writing out visions and you're talking to people about your plans and you just see God in your future and you have hope. <laughs> hope. J.B. Phillips says that hope is happy certainty. <laughs> Glory to God. Hope is a happy certainty, but you have not been in your flow and you haven't been feeling your happy certainties lately. The Lord says he's breaking the captivity off of your creativity. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to go get your pen, get your pad back out. The Lord is breaking the captivity off of your creativity. I need you to sit in front of that keyboard and that screen one more time. The Lord is breaking the captivity off of your creativity. I need you to make another phone call. The Lord is breaking the captivity off of your creativity. I need you to stop hearing people tell you what's impossible. Get away from the impossible. You know what impossible means? Impossible means I'm possible. <laughs> the Lord is breaking captivity off of your creativity. Touch yourself, tap yourself, and tell yourself I'm possible. I'm not going to be on long. I need you to touch yourself, tap yourself, and tell yourself I'm possible possible. My creativity is possible. My opportunities are possible. What God has for my future is possible. You just need to get back into the flow. I need somebody right now to post, get back into the flow. I need somebody right now to help me teach this and tell somebody, get back into the flow. Get back into your flow. Get back into your normal creativity. Get back to the thing that God has called you to do. You know what you're good at. Why are you walking away from it? You know why the Lord has given you the experience and the expertise that you have. Why aren't you engaging that? You aren't even doing what you're good at anymore. Get back to the flow. Come on, post that for me. Get back into the flow. Come on, tell somebody, get back into the flow. You haven't been exercising. Get back into the flow. You quit going to the gym. Get back into the flow. You haven't been on the national prayer call. Get back into the flow. You haven't been waking up in the morning, spending 15 or 30 minutes with the Lord before you walk out the door. Get back into your flow. When you get in your car, quit listening to R&B music in the morning. Get back into your flow. Get back into your flow. <laughs> Touch yourself, tap yourself, and tell yourself, get back into the flow. The Lord is breaking captivity off of your creativity. And whoever's been trying to convince you that you aren't as creative as you are, they just don't know. You've been in a flow before. And it's time for you to get a reset on your flow. Say yes. 
It's time for you to have a revival in your flow. Say yes. It's time for there to be a renewal in your flow. Say yes. Now, Jesus says, John 7, 38, let me give this to you and I'm out. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Get this in your notes, please. Jesus says, he that believes on me, he that believes on me, listen to me, child of God. You are one relationship away from the resource that you need. Good Lord, if I was near you, I'd make you come touch me. You are one relationship away from the resources that you need. I'm going to say it again. You got to get this. You are one relationship away from the resources that you need. He that believeth on me, Jesus says that's where it starts. Jesus says it starts with having a relationship with me. And when you have relationship with Jesus, Jesus provides all the resources and the results that you need from that relationship. You are one relationship away from the resource that you need. You don't need everybody to like you. How many times do I have to tell you that? You need one person to turn towards you. I can give you a testimony right now. In the last 60 days, God has been transforming ministry. God's been transforming opportunities even for this man of God because of one relationship, one fresh relationship, one person sent into your life from God can create the resource that you need. You don't have to use people. The Lord will give you relationships that create resources. You don't have to manipulate anybody. The Lord will give you relationships that create resources. You don't have to scam nobody. You don't need gimmicks. You need relationships. And you don't need relationship with everybody. You need relationship with somebody. Jesus said, he that believeth on me. This relationship will get you the results that you're looking for. And so the Lord is sending into your life redemptive relationships that are going to produce for you radical results. Redemptive relationships that are going to produce radical results. Who am I talking to? The Lord is going to send into your life redemptive relationships that are going to create radical results. He that believes on me, as the scripture said, this is spiritual law. Your relationship determine your resources is spiritual law out of his belly, his innermost being down deep on the inside of you will flow rivers of living water. You get your flow back, but your flow is based on your relationships. Who are you around that's putting dirt in your well? Who are you around that excites you about what God is doing in you? Who do you talk to and they either elevate you or they depress you? You need to know the relationships that you have because the results you're getting is because of the relationships that you have. I don't have time for this, but I read Proverbs 18 today. And the only reason I read Proverbs 18 today is because today is the 18th day. <laughs> And if you know the regiment of uh, prayer everywhere in the house, then you know we read a chapter that corresponds with the day. Every day in the book of Proverbs, we read a chapter that corresponds with the day. Today was chapter 18. In chapter 18, it says that a man that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And obtains favor from the Lord. It's not just a relationship that you get. You get result, results and resources out of that relationship. You obtain favor from the Lord. Show me your friends. I'll show you your future. Show me who you hang out with. I'll show you what you're going to get hung up on. Jesus says, he that believeth on me. You got to pay attention to the relationships that you have. Because relationships create resources and results. All right, let me give you these three things I saw in the text. And I'm done. You got to get your flow back. In order to get your flow back, listen what's getting ready to happen for you. Openings for positive opportunities and outcomes. Out of his innermost being, out of his innermost being, out of the deepest part of you where God 
is creative in you out of that most creative part out of you is going to flow rivers of living water these openings out of openings out of your belly they're going to be openings for positive outcomes openings which means that there's going to be positive opportunities set before you the lord is breaking captivity off of your creativity so start looking for openings some of us lose our creativity because we stop looking for the openings we stop looking for the opportunities you know what you're anointed to do look for the openings to do it you know what you're good at look for the opportunities to do it you know if you were put in this same situation, you would blow up. And you've said that before. Oh, man, if I had that opportunity. Well, you do. <laughs> and the opportunity does not come from without. The opportunity comes from within, out of your belly. Quit waiting for somebody to walk you into an opening. Quit waiting for somebody else to walk you into an opportunity. There are openings and opportunities in you that you are not even flowing with right now. I'm trying to help you get back into your flow. Break the captivity off of your creativity. Start looking for openings and opportunities for positive outcomes and for positive opportunities. The Lord's going to do that for you. Openings, look for openings. But then also know this, when you get into your flow, not only will there be openings, but when you get into your flow, there will be multiple streams of insight and income. This is good. <laughs> There's going to be openings. Out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Yes. There's also going to be multiple streams of insight and income not just income because some of us that's all we're looking for just multiple streams of income when we talk about multiple streams that's all we're talking about money no you get more than money you get multiple streams of insight the lord will show you how to do it there show you how to do it there show you how to walk into this meeting show you how to develop this conversation show you how to build this business plan show you how to write this vision summary show you how to set up the protocol show you how to give direction show you how to build the team show you how to network your entrepreneurial energies the lord can do all of that that's a stream of insight and when you get multiple streams of insight, you will begin to get multiple streams of income out of your belly. Openings are going to flow rivers, rivers. Can I put an S on that? Jesus did. Rivers, not just one river, rivers. These are multiple streams of insight and income. If you need multiple streams of insight income, lift your hands right now. I pronounce and proclaim over you multiple streams of insight and income in this season. I declare that the creativity that God has put in you is opening up now to positive opportunities. It is opening up to positive outcomes and you are right now beginning to flow into multiple streams of insight and income. I wish I had time. I'd take you to Genesis chapter 2, and I'd show you that the Lord sent four rivers out of Eden, and all of the four rivers were named after prosperity, muchness, increase, and fecundity. The Lord created streams, and they went out into the world. The Lord's creating streams in you that are going to go out into the world, out of your innermost being out of your belly, out of the deepest part of you. The Lord says he's going to break the power of captivity off of your creativity. You're going to flow again. You're going to see again openings. You're going to flow again. You're going to see multiple streams of insight and income return to your mind, to your heart. You're going to flow again. And if you flow again, here's what you will get. Methods that are effective and efficient. If you get back into your flow, you will start seeing methods opening up in your life that are effective and efficient. You will not be wasting your time. You will not be investing in things that do not bring return or don't bring dividend. Those days are over. What you're about to see are methods that will make you effective and efficient. Listen to what Jesus says. I'm in John chapter 7 and verse 38. Out of his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Living water. 
Holler, living water. Living water. <laughs> living water means it's effective and efficient. If it's living in scripture, it's effective and efficient. If it's living, it's effective and it's efficient. If it's living, it's effective and it's efficient. The Lord says, here's what's getting ready to happen for you. I'm breaking the captivity off of your creativity. I'm opening you up to possibilities that you hadn't imagined. I am giving you multiple streams of insight and income, and I'm going to make your methods effective and efficient. You're about to flow again. Your methods are about to become efficient and effective. You've been wondering, should I do it differently? Yes. You've been wondering, is there another way to do it? Yes. You've been wondering, can I go back and revise this? Yes. You sure can, and you should, because your creativity is returning. You're stepping back into your flow. And if you get back into your flow, you're going to see things opening for you that have not been open. You're going to see multiple streams of insight and income and your methods are going to come alive. Your methods are going to be living, effective, and efficient. You won't waste your time, your energy, or your plans. What God is about to pull out of you is not dead. It's not ineffective. It's not inefficient. What God's about to pull out of your life is going to be effective. It's going to be efficient. If you got it, let me know you got it. That's all I got. I'm going to pray with you. If you are <clears throat> in a place where you feel like um, you're in a season that suppresses your best, who is that? You feel like something is seeking right now to suppress the best that God has in you, the best that God has for you. If you've been feeling that hindrance, if you've been feeling a blockade in your creativity, if you're not seeing opportunities and outcomes that you want to see, let's pray. If you're not receiving multiple streams of insights and income, let's pray. If right now you don't have methods that are effective and efficient, they're not living for you right now, let's pray. Now, if I'm going to pray with you, let me know I'm praying with you. I'm your prayer pastor regardless, but I would love to be your prayer partner. You have to let me be your prayer partner. I'm, I'm a prayer pastor <laughs> no matter what. But if I'm going to be your prayer partner today, let me know. Yes, man of God, you're praying with me. I'm praying that the Lord would break captivity off of my creativity. I'm praying that I would get back into the flow of what God has for me. I've been away from my ministry. I need to get back into the flow. I haven't been paying attention to the most important things. I need to get back into the flow. My devotional life is weak right now. I need to get back into the flow. My professional life is strained right now. I need to get back into the flow. My entrepreneurial energies are just as lazy and lax as they've ever been. I need to get back into the flow. Pray with me, man of God that I can get back into the flow. If that's you, let me know I'm praying with you. If you have not done so, push that button right now that says share. Before I pray, I want you to push that button that says share. If this word is for you, then it means it's also for somebody else. Push that button and go ahead and share. If I'm praying with you, we're praying right now. Let's go ahead and pray. Holy Father, we give you glory, praise, and thanks. There is none like you. You are exalted. You are magnified. You are glorified here and now. We bless your name, and we run into your name again today, and we thank you for the confidence and the certainty, the guarantees of grace that we have found in your name. Father, we lift, exalt the name of your blessed son, Jesus we declare we have no king but Jesus Christ, and he is Lord. We thank you for the blessed Holy Spirit. We thank you for his person. We thank you for his power. We thank you for his works and his wonders in us and among us. Thank you for the word that you release to your people today. Now, Holy Father, for the glory of your name, we have served your word. And now we pray, let this word run. Let this word be sent to heal and to deliver. 
Let this word recover souls today. In the name of Jesus, we take back our creativity. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that the captivity that has been on our creativity is broken now. We step back into the flow. We thank you now, Holy Father, for openings. We thank you for opportunities. We thank you for positive outcomes in our lives. We bless you for multiple streams of insight and income. We give you glory. We give you praise that the methods that you give us are going to be effective and efficient. Cause them to come alive. The visions that you've put in your people cause them to come alive. Those things, Father God, that are in their business uh, uh, files, those things that they're ready to do as entrepreneurs, we pray now in the name of Jesus, bring forth what they've recorded. Bring forth what they've prayed over. Bring forth what they've been planning. Team them with the right people. Network them with those who are effective and efficient. Cause the vision to come alive again in the name of Jesus. So Father, we bless you and we give you praise. We give you glory for the work of the Holy Spirit in your people out of our innermost being. Let there be rivers to flow out of us. And we thank you that the power of the enemy is broken. We give you glory that we're back in the flow and we call these things done. And so it's in Jesus name we pray. Everyone who agrees said, Amen, 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 and amen. Well, glory to God. This is your prayer pastor, Bishop Sean Teal. If this has blessed you, I want you to share it. If you have not done so, connect with the ministry. We would love to connect with you. Again, we have free spiritual resources that I would love to sow into your life. If you haven't done so, if you haven't experienced the School of Prayer, the School of Prayer is in the pray area every Sunday, 9 a.m. Look for that information. And if you are anywhere near Northern California, even in Central California, <laughs> come on up and experience what God is doing there at the house. And we'll be excited to see you. And I'll be hugging you and loving on you. Let me see uh, some of us who came on. I may be able to say good morning uh, to some of you. Apostle Jewelry, I see you, man of God. Love you. Appreciate you so very much. Thank the Lord for you. Minister Tucker, come on. I appreciate you. Thank the Lord for you. You helped make it happen. Thank you for sharing again. Hey there, Brother Scott. Thank you for being with us. Would you push that button and share? We appreciate you. Hey, Sister Lynette, love you. Appreciate you. Go ahead, push that button and go ahead and share. Hey there, Senator Brewer. Thank you for your moderation and your ministry this morning on the National Prayer Call. Blessing and thanking the Lord also for the word release from Exhorter Pastor Anita P. Latin. What a word we heard on the West Coast this morning. I'm living under the commands of God. Glory to God. Come on in, and if I can't see you, uh, I just can't see you. But I want you to go ahead and push that button that says share and help be a blessing to somebody else. Stay in contact with us, and we thank the Lord. Hey there, Sarah MacArthur, she's on with us. We love you too. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hey there, my daughter, certain Sharon, uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, is in the house this morning. We're loving you, appreciating you. Push that button. <laughs> Bishop, I know. Push that button. And I thank you and I appreciate you for sharing again today. You be blessed. Tomorrow is Juneteenth. It's a federal holiday. Uh, that shouldn't affect many of us, but I'm going to ask that you make sure that tomorrow you're with us on the National Prayer Call, East Coast, West Coast, that you'll be with us also for precepts, Bible study. I believe the Lord's going to have a word for his people. Uh, it's going to be a word of liberation on June 10th. Juneteenth, that's what it should be, right? A word that sets us free, even from the captivity of your own creativity. Glory to God. All right, this is your prayer pastor, Bishop Sean Till. You have a wonderful day. I'll touch base with you later. I'm looking forward to you connecting with us. Do it now. Do it today. Prayerreverywhere.org. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.